let's talk about studios. When you're brand new, one of the things that you really worry about, because I've been there, is what kind of equipment do I need? What should my studio look like? What do I need? And I want to, since I've been through that, I want to show you what I have and how I struggled with that and overthought it. And it's really quite simple. It really is. So if you're a brand new YouTuber, stick around because this is going to help take a lot off your plate when you can once and for all see how simple a studio can be. Now, my name is Vanessa DeBerlade. I want to thank you for watching my channel. And my channel is about turning your passion into profit, how you can start a YouTube channel and make several different streams of income just from starting at that point. And that's what my channel is about. So make sure you tune in and hit that notification button because every Tuesday and Friday I put out new videos and you'll be the first to see it. Let's get started on the office. I want to first give you a tour of my first office that I had and what I teach from home. I have been working from home for almost 20 years now and I love it. So that part of my drive to start my own business, I already did that. I just didn't like the fact that I had a ceiling to my income. I have my master's and haven't even broken six figures with my job. So that's pretty discouraging because everybody tells us go to college and get a degree so you can make lots of money and there's always going to be a ceiling. So I started out in my office where I taught and that office, as you can see in this picture here, it, it's, it's pretty messy because <laughs> that's not where I'm sitting anymore. But that's where I started out. I wanted to have a view out to look out my window. And it was funny because when I first started doing my videos, I did it from my desk and the, and the the window was right there in front of me and one of the worst things you can do is have the light from the video um, from the from the window sitting in that spot so um, I didn't know anything about lighting I didn't know any of that stuff so I sometimes would have the the window behind me sometimes I'd have it in front of me but there, it always was shadows and things like that so one of the things that I did I went out and invested in was one of those big screens I got a screen behind me I invested in the the great big bar thing and the cloth and all that and I used it probably for about a year and I got a gray one thinking oh I can you know use different lighting on it and all that well first of all I didn't know anything about lighting and I really wasn't wasn't interested in it and second of all I was everything was too close I was confined in like a eight foot distance and, and you have to have more room than that so I started looking at other videos and seeing what people did and there was this one couple that I watched and she was showing how you can just turn your bedroom into a, to into your studio and I thought wow I've got a huge we have a huge rooms in our house my husband built our house and um, here's a video you can see but what I did is I moved this whole room around and put the gray, made sure I had the gray wall behind me because then, then I didn't have to worry about using the screen or any of that because it's, you know, you have to iron it and keep the wrinkles out and all of that. So that was one thing I bought that I wish I didn't buy because for me, I was able to find a, a wall in my house where I could put that behind me and it was plain and it's gray so I didn't have to paint anything I didn't have to add anything the only thing I added was a green plant just to give it some color behind me um, I haven't put any pictures or any of that I was trying to keep it as simple as possible and as you can see as you're touring my room I mean it's it's huge we have a king-size bed um, a whole shelf full of homeschooling books waiting for my two-year-old granddaughter to get homeschooled and then as you come around you can see it's a very big open space. Now, some of the equipment that I bought that I want you to see is I did buy two Fovitech lights. I, I studied and studied and studied. I didn't wasn't really sure what to get, but ended up with this. I think some people like to use LED lights. Um, honestly, I don't know which is better, but I went with these and I think I paid roughly $125 for two. So it wasn't bad. Something that I highly recommend everybody get is the stand the tripod i use this for my i put my webcam on it i don't put it on my computer i did it first but it made it, it when you go to um, show your video your face is like really huge i videotape further back and then that gives me the ability to zoom in and zoom out if i want to and it's not just so close um you know my whole body's not eating up the the frame and i keep it on my tripod which is right at the end of a desk so it's probably about two and a half to three feet away from me i also use that tripod 
to film outside. If I go ever go outside, I grab that tripod, I can put my camera on there and videotape from my iPhone. So one of my favorite best investments ever made. And like I said, the webcam, I have links for all this below, but I've been using the webcam the whole time that in my camera or my iPhone, that's all I use are those two things to videotape with. I've not invested in a real expensive camera or anything like that. The other thing that I'm very happy with is my Yeti microphone. I really hesitated on that. I was so afraid. I did put out a little bit more money for this. I think I paid about 130, um, but it comes with, um, I don't know what it's called, but the, the, uh, a buffer that's what it's called it comes with a buffer that will help so there's no echoing with your microphone and i'm very very pleased with that so basically that's all i have for equipment and you don't need a lot maybe you don't even need the lights um, maybe you can videotape outside or maybe you have really good lighting in a room but i'm just my emphasis to you is don't go out and spend a lot of money when it, you don't have to um, you can keep it simple and and it works um, and change it up. I don't always like to sit here because I feel like every single video always has the same background. So a lot of times I like to go outside and videotape. People like to see where you're from and you know, where you live. So, so use that as your studio, um, your life, if that makes sense. If you're on vacation, always have your phone with you so that you can videotape when you get ideas. So I hope this was helpful for you that you can see um, my studio for now. Um, it works. Now, the bad thing about being in here today, um, if you stuck around this long, I am babbling now, so I don't have anything more um, to say that's important. But the bad thing about this room now, it's fall and we live out in the country, so the little trucks don't come through and spray for bugs. And I have stopped this video at least three times to kill stink bugs. Um, so that is our fun thing in the fall, living out in the country, is you get those little ladybugs that come in through the window and stink bugs. And for some reason, this year, we have stink bugs. So I had to stop <laughs> and kill three of them. So that's part of living in the country. But thank you for coming today. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, if you have a piece of equipment that you absolutely love, share it below. Because like I said, I'm not an expert. I'm just sharing it with you what has worked for me and I've been very satisfied with my purchases actually the only thing I probably didn't need was the screen I was starting to think about getting a green screen and you know changing up the background and all that but it, it's it's not necessary as far as time goes so that's why I didn't do it um, and again this works and it's plain and it works all right thank you you have a good one and I'll see you on the next video